Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to Looter FM. This is my Everton save, and currently, um, we are currently top of the league at the moment by one point. So, uh, just quickly looking here. So, yeah, we've got 41 points from 20 games so far. Doing quite well. We did relatively well last uh, last time you saw us in the previous episode. We played five games. We won two, drew three, and lost one. So we could have done better, but we did well enough to get top of the transfer. There's a few transfers that we need to talk about for future transfers. So first of all, Holgate's going to Levante for 2.8 million, and Decore and Majara are going to Sunderland for 7 million and 6 million. Um, we've signed this player here, and I'm probably going to get his name wrong, Asi Dini Unahi, the Moroccan. Pretty good little player, um, balanced personality, highly regarded by our scouts. We signed him for three million, and we've also got this guy here, Vincent Boulette, as well, who could be good cover for uh, wing uh, left wing backs. So yeah, and he can also play if need be as a centre back if you're really desperate. But only 19 years old, so plenty of time to improve. Um, and um, we've got Birmingham next, the top of the league clash. So yeah, so let's just crack on with that. And I hope everyone's having a nice day. Hope um, I appreciate, while I'm going through all this, I appreciate everyone's support so far. And please, if you like the videos, please let me know, like the videos, and also please subscribe because it, it, it goes a, a long way in helping me progress and get better and produce more content as well. So if you haven't already, if you haven't already subscribed, but you're enjoying the videos, please, um, give us a subscribe and also as well um, if you haven't noticed already um, I am streaming on Twitch as well I'm doing a Newcastle save so if you're not too keen on the Everton save but you want to see how I'm doing Newcastle I'm on most weekdays Monday to Friday at 2pm there is the occasional day where I won't be um, I'm also on Twitter as well so I will tend to post every day if I'm going to be streaming so if you go, if you search for Lucha FM on Twitter, you'll find it on there. Give us a little follow on there. I've only just created the page a couple of days ago. So yeah, so just give us a follow on there as well. But any, like I said, any support that you've given me so far, any feedback, I appreciate. Feel free to leave a comment on this video. Um, but yeah, um, I'm looking forward to playing Birmingham. I hope we can beat them and try and get a bit of a lead in the, in the league. Um, we cannot lose to them though. We need to definitely win or draw. At worst case scenario, draw. We can't lose. We can't. Oh yeah. Hopefully we won't lose. Laird going is going to be playing against his former club by the looks of it. He's been playing really well. Uh, Laird Laird played exceptionally well last game or the game before I think. Um, he scored and got an assist and he scored a great goal as well from what I remember. Yeah, we're playing. Wayne Rooney's Birmingham City. Wayne Rooney, former Everton youngster. So yeah, so it will be uh, interesting for him to see how he, what reaction he gets from his former club. We are currently going after this player called um, called Amari Paulzen, Paulzon, sorry, plays for Man United youth team. Highly regarded in real, um, what's highly regarded in real life. He's recently made his debut, I think, for Man United in the game that we played a couple of days ago so hopefully he'll start to fulfill his potential but a lot of Man United fans have, have I think they've already basically wrote him off because I think they're saying that other players younger than him are more advanced so we'll see um, I'm on Newcastle save I'm just currently starting season three and a list of players out of contract come up and Mason Greenwood was one of the players that was available and I was if in an R in, but I decided not to for personal reasons because of what he did. So, or allegedly did, even though we all know he did it. Um, but yeah, so I decided to get in the end, even though I was, thought it would be funny to try and make everyone think I was going to sign him, I did decided not to sign Mason Greenwood. Same with I wouldn't sign Kurt Zuma for the for, for reasons as well, because they're just absolute scumbags. So yeah, but unfortunately, they still get to play football. But anyway, right, enough about that. We've got a game against Birmingham, which is very important. Right, so here's our lineup. Basuno in goal, because Patterson's still injured. 
Um, Godfrey in defence with Holgate and Mika Momov. Laird as right back, McCallum as left back. El Elanini and uh, Carney in the centre midfield. Norton Cuffey as the winger. Dosi on the left and Martial up front. Very strong team. I hope we can get an early goal, settle the nerves a bit, give the players encouragement. We'll see. It's going to be an entertaining game for a neutral, first versus second. So hopefully as a viewer, you're going to enjoy this game. Hope it's not a boring game. No one picked it up. Yeah, 10 minutes gone, no highlights so far. I hope this is not like the Bristol City game the other day. Bristol I played Bristol City on this save. And there was no highlights at all for the whole game. I've never had that happen, ever. 20 minutes gone. Still no highlights. We've had three shots, one on target, though, so that's encouraging. They haven't had any. And they just had their first shot. 30 minutes gone. We've got the first highlight, and unfortunately it's theirs. We defend their corner well. Oh, I thought we defended it, but they headed it out, so it's a goal kick to let us. Um, yeah, not the most entertaining game, is it? I jinxed us, didn't I? Shouldn't have said anything. But on the bright, on the plus side, if Cardiff and Sheffield United don't win their game, we're still top of the league. So we don't need to win this game, but we could do winning this game though. Uh, let's demand a bit more. Let's try and at least give you a few highlights to look at. Yeah, 54 minutes gone, only one highlight, and all that was was a corner that went nowhere. So yeah. Bridge. Not much else we can do. Um, we've got a few players tired, so we'll just substitute them. Maybe that'll inspire the game to crack on a bit. Um, take Norton Cuffey off. Put Iris Campbell there. Dosi off, and we'll put Air there. Right, okay. See what we can do from that. Right, a highlight. Nana with the corner. Can we grind out a very boring 1 0 win here? We can. 1 0. Ghana. And he just come on as well, made the difference already. Um, let's slow this down and watch the replay. Do that. And we'll watch the goal again. Come on. Ah, there we go. Right, so with the corner. Martial passes it to Ghana. Ghana cuts inside, shoots, and scores. There we go. 1-0 up in a very boring game. We're dominating by the looks of it, so that's good. Okay. Arnie's a bit knackered, so we'll put Dupuri on for him. Right, another corner to us, Garner. Right, Martial, will he shoot? No, he doesn't. Passes it to Goffrey. Goffrey with a little bit of skill. We lose the ball, though. Dupuri could have done better there. Laird passes it to Holgate. We're just going to waste a bit of time by the looks of it, keep possession. Then back to our goalie. Goalie with a rare touch by the looks of it in this game. Mar uh, Mormo. Puts the ball in. Marshall scores. Excellent. 2-0. That's what we like to see. Marshall probably man of the match so far with the goal and assist. Oh, yeah. Very good. Time and comes on for um, for uh, McCallum. Can't make any more subs now, so we've just got to grind this victory out now. This last twenty minutes has been more exciting than the whole previous previous minutes of the game. Mika Marmo, Holgate, can we get another goal? Keep, let's get the uh, fans let's keep the fans happy. Get another goal, make it entertaining for them. Goodison Park. Oh no, at Goodison Park, sorry, at St Andrews, I apologise. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can just see this game out now. The little start to the episode, this one, innit? Four points clear of Birmingham, who was second still. Uh, Sheffield United and Cardiff obviously didn't win, I don't think. We've got a four-point lead in the league now. Uh, just praise Martial, we had a great game for us. He's been a great signing for us. Um, 10 goals in 15 games. If anybody's playing um, football manager, and you're playing 
and during the second start of the second season you might want to look at bringing in Martial on a free transfer because he's been an absolute bargain for us um have a look have a, have a look I mean if we sold him now not we're going to sell him because he's our best striker but you know we'd make massive profit on him I don't think anybody's going to try and sign him now because he's too injury prone um we'll see if the board will let us have any new see if they can improve the youth recruitment as well so um when have we got a game next four days so we'll just we'll just power through this one we won't um won't holiday we'll just power through and we'll just see if we get them board requests come up in our favor but yeah going well so far with everton again i just want to say thank you to everyone who, who supported me so far i'll probably say it too much but it does mean a lot to me so um thank you for that and i hope you're enjoying the series so far and yeah um, we've got Derby County next game. They got promoted from League One in the first season of the game because this is season two, even though this is my first season with Everton. Um, yeah, keep going. What would have just sat their manager? Well, that's a rather surprise. They usually sat their manager every three months. Uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. They're probably about three managers in the season. Miles Jacobson probably isn't very happy. So yeah, so Lewis Gibson wasn't happy about the lack of first team. So I'll put him on the transfer list. We just accepted an offer from so Patterson has been doing well in training, so we're just gonna you know, praise him his development. If it will just let me move across where we go. Two days to go before we play our next game. Um, just let me know in the comments page, do you prefer me to basically skip through this? You don't have to put this all this boring stuff here. Or do you like to see this type of stuff? Can you let me know in the comments uh, page, please? Because when I started doing it, I didn't um, edit it or anything like that. I just basically just let everything just play out as it is. Um, we just had the board agree to make our youth, uh, youth improve our youth recruitment, which is good. They won't give us any wage budget or increase the wage rate or transfer budget, but I think with the money in there, I think we'll definitely get a boost to the transfer budget. Not that we need to spend it really. We've got 51 million. I mean, how much more do we need? Um, and I don't think we'll I don't think we'll bother signing anyone unless it's somebody absolutely amazing. We'll just probably just keep that money for next season. But um, yeah, just let me know in the comments page if you prefer like this, where I I can try and talk in between the hollers, but sometimes I might not have anything to say, so it might be a bit quiet. So I think that puts people off. Or I can just are you what I've done lately is just editing the videos. So I'll I'll basically do a little recap of what's happened in between the games, if there's any transfers or injuries, and then I'll just play the games. So just let me know what what you prefer and I'll just go with the majority. But yeah, please leave some comments so I know. Um but yeah, Wayne Rooney's got um sacked after that game by the looks of it, because Chris McKee. Has, uh, took over as caretaker manager, so does that mean the Birmingham job's available then? Let's do that. Well, oh, okay, yeah, it's got all these bloody leagues. Um, do that, do that. Okay. Yeah, so Birmingham's after a new manager, despite the fact they're third, they got rid of Wayne Rooney, which I find ridiculous. But then again, in real life, they got rid of um john ustace or however you pronounce his name and he, they were like third or fourth in the league and they got rid of him to bring in wayne rooney in the first place so um i've got no sympathy for wayne rooney and, and i feel sorry for the Birmingham city fans really to be honest with the ownership that they have when they're just going so they're ambitious don't get me wrong but they're just going the wrong way about it i think they should have backed the the, the current manager they had john ustace instead of getting rid of him for wayne rooney it'd be different if he if um Ustace wasn't doing very well. He was fourth in the league with a very young, inexperienced Birmingham team, so he, he should have had the credit where it was due. Anyway, right, we we're playing Derby now. We've got Patterson back in goal. Fortius, Holgate, and Marmo. Uh, Norton Cuffey, who is a wing back defender, so we'll just do that. Wing back defend. Uh, McCallum is in his usual role. And we've got Elanini and Anderson in their usual roles. O'Hare is a advanced playmaker support, so we'll change that. 
Fajido is a winger. And then we've got Campbell up front. So, yeah. See how we go. The second game of the episode. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting than the last game because there was literally no highlights for the first half of the game. But we won 3 0 in the end, so it wasn't too bad. Taking a bit longer than usual. And why? Maybe there's an error on the game. No, it seems to be working all right. Takes a few seconds. All right, there we go. No highlights so far, but we can change that, bruise the team a bit. Uh, let me know in the comments section, how long do you wait until you start trying to use scouts to encourage the team? Or you should give it 10 minutes and then I, um, would you do an encouraging one? But sometimes it doesn't work out well. Um, got no right backs in the subs bench, which is a bit annoying. I think Laird's probably injured. We we're having to play... No, let's let's undo that. Is he the only just Tyron is what who I meant to put on? Oh, what am I doing? Um sorry about this. All right, just Tyron, we'll do it this way. Okay. He's not much better, but he'll have to do. Nothing we can do about it. We've got no right wing backs. We might need to look at getting another right wing back in the January window if possible. Even just a backup one who not expected to play very much just to cover us. We're doing all right left backs because we've signed that Belgian player in the left, plays left back. We could just do with maybe getting another right back or bringing one up from the youth team if they've got one. That would be the better option just to bring through one of our reserves or something, save us money. Nice little passing exchange here now, but no full. There we go, we're going a bit forward now. O'Hare, lovely little cross, header by Lahido. You get saved, that's another go, misses it, had another, another, yeah, three headers in the space of 30 seconds then. All right, still nil nil. I'm going to just give them another encouragement, hopefully that'll work. I mean, we've had seven shots free on target, so we are the better team so far, I'd say, when it comes to shots and stuff. Go here now, back to Malmo, to Adenini, to Holgate. We're just going to keep passing it across, are we? No, we're going to pass it forward, that makes a nice change. We're passing it backwards now, come on. Drive it forward. Hyman in his unusual position as a right wing back. Saved by their goalie though. Their goal kick. We head it out. Pass it in by, from Anderson now. Lahido drives it forward. That's what we want to see. We want to see him taking players on. He gets a bit stuck but crosses it in. We've got a penalty. Yes, we've got a penalty. Right, Elanini takes the penalty, which I find weird. But yeah, wasn't expecting him to be our meta penalty taker, but we scores. Nicely done. Is he any good at penalties? How are you on here? Penalty taker 12. Have we not got anybody better than him? Okay. Uh, and in there with a goal. Ends the first half on a bang. Right then. Uh, let's demand a bit more because we just want to get another goal. Try and kill this game off. We don't want to. Get Derby back in this game. But hopefully we can sort this out. Yeah. Nothing so far in this second half. We'll take the 1-0 win if need be. And we don't concede. Tyrese Campbell's not playing very well. So we're going to substitute him. And we'll put uh, Najar up front. And we'll swap his role. His usual, his best role we can do which is that one favorite role so we'll do that get your players happy um anderson's a bit knackered so we'll take him off now we'll put james garner james garner likes to play as a carrillo so we'll just do that in a second uh there we go like that and oh hold on you not come on oh we've got to wait i suppose on there, there we go. Annoying when that happens, right? He plays as a gorilla. We're probably in theory playing a bit more defensive now, but we'll just I'm happy just to grind out the one nil win, really, with eight minutes, seven minutes to go. Uh, well, let's just see this game up now. Yep, 
bit. There we go. Nice little victory. And um, just have a look and see if there's any news items before I... Uh... Oh, there we win. Puppy is out for three to five weeks. That is not good. That means we've got no right backs at this rate. Okay, let's try this defender. Right. Okay, so we can. Oh, Laird is there. Maybe Laird was injured in the last game, but yeah. At least we've got Laird. Okay, that's good. Right then, we'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Thank you. Right, we're back. And um, we are now playing Plymouth at home. Before we do that, let's just do a little recap of a few things. So, um, Dele Ali has moaned a little bit about first team football, so we're sending him out on loan. He was never going to come in as a first team player, he's just basically come in as a player that I've always rated, and I just wanted him here as like a good luck charm, really, if anything. So, he's going to he's going to stay at the club, but we're just going to send him out on loan so we can get some football. Um, and then we've had rubbish offers for um, Adam Idea, who wanted to leave. Um, I will be cancelling these because I initially accepted them because I went a bit too quick. But the offers are like, ridiculously bad. Um, basically, we're going to get five million for him when I think we can get do better than that. So yeah, so that's that. And then and then potential transfers in. We've got this player here, Manuel Ayu. Um, who can play as a right back and as a defender, a centre defender as well? He could probably play nicely in the def uh, the three de central defenders that we got. He's obviously another wide centre back. He can play right back if we really need to, so we could have him as cover for Laird and Norton Cuffey. Um, nor that one because that one is a coaching. That's just a coaching thing. Um, and then trans history. Look at an update on the future transfers. So we've also got Amari Forsong coming in. Signed him for 1 million. He's coming in January. And then another player out is Lewis Gibson, who's going to Stoke for 2.8 million. So yeah, so right, let's crack on with this game. Um, let me change him back to that. Change him to that. Um, Marshall's in his best position there. In the, he's not a complete wing back. Or, um, these are all the same. They're the same. Oh no, he needs to change to Carrillo. Right, so he needs to change to ball winning field of defense. There we go. So we're happy. Let's get cracking with our third game of the episode against Plymouth. Hope everyone's enjoying this. Um, feel free to let me know. Yeah, right, let's see how we get on against Plymouth. Uh, nothing happening so far. Bruise the players a bit. Right, we're in possession. Whole game. To Elanini, to O'Hare with a over the top ball to Martial, who passes it in, uh, across to Laird. Laird now. Pass. Uh, yeah, Ghana scores. I think there was like a mix up in the box, but yeah, Ghana scores, and that's what matters. Winning 1 0. Arna playing in his favourite position as a Carrillo, working well. And I think Carrillo is basically like a Masala, but a bit more defensive minded. Yeah, Garner seems to be happy playing that one, so we'll leave him there. And it's our uh, goal kick, McCallum, back to Holgate. Holgate now. Garner. Garner with a lovely little forward pass to Marshall, who locks it over to Laird. Laird tries and sprints past the defender, which he manages to do. He circles it back to O'Hare, who passes it back to Laird, and then Laird to Martial, who gets his 10th goal this season, I think they just said then. I could be wrong. I think he scored more than that, hasn't he? Um, the 10th league goal, oh, I don't know. Anyway. Yep, so 2 0 up in the first half. Um, uh, McCallum had to come off, so timing is now on. This highlight, I just need to change. Oh, missed by that. Right, I just need to change Tymon's role. He's also a complete wing back, so at least at least Laird and Tymon are in the same roles, so they know what they're doing. Hopefully, we'll benefit from that. I know I have no idea what a difference between a wing back and a complete wing back is. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments box.
Sorry about that. Not the table then. Right, so we're 2 0 up. 57 minutes gone. We're top of the league now, by hopefully by seven points by the end of this game. But let's see how Sheffield United and Birmingham do. But we're starting to get a little bit of a gap in between now. So we're starting to dominate in the league, which is what I was expecting us to do. It took us a while, but we're getting there. We're hitting our stride now. Atsum to Turinzebe. Across to Garner. Garner to Adosi, who passes it across to O'Hare. O'Hare now. Looks up. Passes it in to Marshall, who shoots first time. I think it comes off a player. So we've got a corner. Timon. Corner. Dosi keeps the ball in, passes it to Godfrey, and that's the end of that. Right, so take off a Dosi. He's not been playing very well. They don't want. And time's not very time has not been playing very well, but we ain't really got anybody else to replace him. You know, just come on. So we'll just leave him. We will try and shout it to him to demand more. See if that'll fix it in some way. Hopefully, it'll improve. Yeah, we've got a few minutes left. We're just going to hopefully end this game with no major drama. You know, Plymouth's got the ball now. See what we can do here. We get the ball. They are keeping well with possession. Alan Wright just gets a good shot in, but luckily we save it. But they've still got the ball. We saved it. That's all right. Right, I think that's going to be it then. Oh, a couple of minutes to go. Hopefully that's it. Nice 2 0 win. Good to see. Yeah, well done, lads. Very proud. Time to um, build a nice little team here now. Uh, Laird with another great performance. He's going to get a new contract. I did. New contract. Keep it at the club as long as we can. All right, that wins our next game. So we've got another game in five days. We've got Coventry again in five days' time. Um, we played them recently, didn't we? When did we play Coventry? Yeah, like a few games ago. That's weird. Okay. So, yeah, so we'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Thank you. All right, we're back. And um, we are playing um, Coventry away next game. But as always, let me just give you a quick recap of anything potential happening. So our scouts come up with this player here called um, Toki Sato. Um, Japanese player, gets played for Japan. But he when we, he's play, he plays for Lamel in um, Belgium. And he's doing really well for them this season. And when we went to offer him a contract, he wants star player status. So I think he might have... Um, ourselves an absolute bargain here so hopefully he'll be a really good player for us um still negotiating with awu since she last uh since the last part of the episode and then if we um go across here again to future sorry wrong one um no trans history i was right um there we are future transfers so no more on the ingoings, but obviously Deli Ali is potentially going to Port. Uh, he is going to Portsmouth on loan. We had a bit of an injury crisis at the moment. Uh, two central, two of our central midfielders, Anderson and um, Elenini, both injured. So it leaves us a bit short in central midfield. So I might look at bringing in a central midfielder in because we've got Ducre who's going. And that leaves us short as well. O'Hare doesn't really play as a central midfielder, so we definitely need to bring in some central midfielders. Um, Lewis Gibson is probably going as well. So we do need to probably centre back. So when it comes to January window, um, we could play Jason Knight, actually, to be honest, in midfield, but um, we're also offering him out on loans because he's moaning about first team football. So, yeah, so we could have an interesting January window. We could bring in quite a few players and and the, uh, send out quite a few players as well. So we'll just have to see. Um, what's Carney's best role? Sala support. Yeah, I was right. Right. Sala support. And then Garner is a Carrillo support. We're going to have two players in, two central midfielders in uh, 
It's a pulsive roll, so that'll either go one way or another. And the rest of this team is pretty straightforward. So Lavumbo's back as well, which is good to hear. He's back at the right time when we need him. Yeah, that's right. Let's get going. Hopefully we can beat Coventry and end the episode on a high. This will be the last um, game of the episode. And then next, next episode will be a January transfer window special. So hopefully that'll be exciting. People will be looking forward to that. Yeah, starting. We've got a throw in now. Laird. Darno gets hit, gets the ball hit on his back. That was quite funny. Um, we get the ball back though. Then runs across, uses his pace and acceleration. Lumumbo with a lovely little pass. Get it first time by Carney goes over. We are currently eight points ahead at the moment. If we win this game, we'll be we'll have an even further gap. What that means as well is it gives us a bit of breathing space and we can also rotate a few players as well when they get a bit tired. Uh, yeah, because our uh, even though we made quite a few signings, we've got a relatively small compact squad, I think. A lot of the players that we some of the players that we did sign for the future, so we sent them out on loan. And then some of the other players who we bought in were not happy about lack of game time, so we sold them. We do need to probably bring in a few players just to give us a bit of depth in the window, and we've got quite a bit to spend. And if we sell a couple of more, we'll have a bit more as well. And then you never know, the owner might give us a bit more money in January. Yeah, 16 minutes gone. It's been quite an action-packed first half so far. And we've had four shots to on target. We've now got a corner, Lavumbo. We actually score from a corner for a change. It would be nice. Lavumbo to Goffrey. To Laird. Down to Goffrey. Goffrey with a nice little pass to Lavumbo. Lavumbo gets fouled. We play on and we score a dosi. Eighth ball of the season. He's starting to... Um, Starts to score quite a few now, Odosi. I think he, he started slow with the goals. He's now got eight goal of the season in 21 games. Even, uh, yeah, 24 games, sorry. He's been a really good signing for us. Who did we sign him from? We signed him from, oh, we signed him from Southampton, didn't we? Former Man City youth player. So he comes with um, quite a good reputation. In a Manchester United, um, sorry, Manchester City youngster. All right, we've got the ball now. More, more, more. We've got, oh, there's been quite a few, well, there's four bookings so far in this first half. Two on our side, luckily, though. Um, be a bit worried if all four of them are on our side. All right, commentary in possession. We break them down. We can't, we can sort of. We've given them a penalty, though. That is not good. Will he score? Hard right. I think he just kissed the ball then before he took that penalty. We save it. I think we saved it. Yeah, we definitely saved it. Well done. Good save by Patterson. Right, we've got a corner out of this. Okay, let's uh, get the ball back. Not let's end this highlight, please. Right, so that's the end of the first half. We're one nil up. Just demand a bit more from the players. Kill this game off. We uh. Would have been drawing 1 1 if it wasn't for Patterson, so we need to get a bit more clinical now. Chances right, McCallum to Marmel to Porteous, Laird, Lavombo, Godfrey out to Laird, Laird back to Lavombo, crosses it in. Didn't lead to anything, but Adosi gets it back to McCallum. McCallum looks better at crossing, and he gets it to Zito Lavombo with his fifth goal of the season. Been out for a while, we have missed him, and obviously he went, he's gone and done the African Cup of Nations as well, but um, yeah, he, he's a very key player for us. Plus he's got a really cool name as well, Zito Lovumbo. I'm all about players with um, fun sounding names. 10 points clear at the moment, oh no we're not, um, we were 10 points, now we're 8 points, but we're still 8 points, pretty good. Like that. Gives us a bit of a breathing room when we go on a little bit of a bad run. Hopefully we won't know. McCallum doesn't know what to do, so he gives it to Marmel, who gives it back to McCallum. McCallum's probably not happy with that. He drives it forward, puts it across uh, with the cross. Lovely little goal again by Zito Lovombo. He's come back into this game strong. 
Two goals by Lovumbo two assists by McCallum. So far, so good. Nice little linking up partnership there. Uh, yeah, just run this clock down now. Can we get another one? Garner, love little pass to Carney. Carney across to McCallum, who gives it back to Marmon. Tries it forward to a dosi. Nice little triangle of passing going on here at McCallum. McCallum, got a hat trick of uh, assists there. Garner now. What can he do with this corner? Nothing really. Carney. Ooh. Nice, okay, so let's just some adjustments. We'll just take some players off. Um, we'll just leave this out because completely forgot to take players off. I was too involved in the game. There's only a few minutes left, so we'll just leave it as that. We are top of league, eight points clear now. So some very good progress. Yeah, so that's a um, nice little victory. A talent. Another player I'm going to. Why does he contract expire? He's only got a two year contract. We definitely need to tie him down to a longer contract now. Right, so push for five. Yep, he's happy with that. Excellent. Laird has signed that new contract I offered him. That's good. So um, just keep going forward with this. Conway's not happy, so we'll get rid of you. I'll, I'll never be giving you Conway for getting him sent off. So you can go. Get rid of you. Just got to get rid of the unhappy players because if they, the longer they're unhappy, the worse it's going to affect the dressing room. You just you just need to cut them out. We'll um, play this game and then we'll just yeah we'll play this Norwich game um, and then we'll and basically keep going until. The 31st of December, so then when we go to the next episode, it will be the transfer window special. Yeah, we'll just play one more game. Praise him for that. Yeah, hope everybody's enjoying it. Please let me know whether you're enjoying it or not. I don't take criticism, um, I don't mind criticism, obviously, unless it's something really insulting. But um, yeah, you know, if it makes me do better content, please let me know, good or bad. But yeah, I hope, um, thank you to the people who subscribed the last day or two. I've had a few more subscribers, so I do appreciate that. And thank you for watching the videos as well. It's starting to get some people regularly watching the videos, so I'm glad you're enjoying the content. So shout out to you not for the regular uh, watching it. Um, one of them is probably my friend Josh, by the way. So hello to Josh if he's watching this. Right, so we've signed AU, and you are AU. We did end up accepting them offers, the loan offers for IDEA. Just full of sod it, just get five million for them. Like I said, we don't need to worry about money when you're Everton. This save Musso would be a very good goalkeeping signing for us. Then again, I don't really want to oust out um, Bazuno or Patson, but I suppose it comes down to it. We can. Always sell one of them. That might be a bit of bad answer because he's contract. Oh, it doesn't matter. We didn't start. We didn't. It didn't cost us much to sign him. Uh, we probably would have had to pay that in compensation. So we'll just leave it as that. Um, there's no guarantee we're going to sign Musso as well. Doesn't necessarily mean he'll sign for us. All right. So well, this is definitely the last game of the episode now. Um, we'll just do that. Um, everybody seems to be in their, in, happy in their positions they're playing them. Yep. So, get cracking with this game. Hopefully McCallum can play well against his former club. Corner to them though. I think from last, I think last time we struggled against Norwich if I remember. All right, Patterson with the uh, goal kick out to McCallum. Dosey. Arnie loses the ball. They now play it back from the uh, from their goal. Oh, absolute defensive error by there. Marshall with a bit of shit house through there. 
nice to see. Four minutes played, um, less than four minutes played, and we've got one goal already. Good. All right, we've got a throw in. We get um, a couple of goals in the first half. Patterson, a bit far forward. That could have come and we could have come and stuck with that. Momo. Inside to Garner. Garner goes forward now. Passes it across to McCallum. McCallum with a lovely little pass, but gets uh, found out by their defence. Allen loses the ball. Maybe the pressure of playing his former team is getting to him. Nice. Okay, so there we go. James Garner with the goal. Six minutes play. Two goals scored. Got a throw in. Led. Lugana. Lugana now. Or is it forward? Loses the ball. Norwich on the counter attack now. They've got the fastest player in the world by the looks of it. That was a great goal by them. Fair play. Sarah is a very good player. I regret not signing him now. Maybe I'll look to sign him in the. Hmm, maybe I could sign him. Oh, I might mean. I can play defensive midfielder. He can play mid defensive midfielder. Um, okay. He's money. He's a lot of money, but I think it's money well spent. He will definitely give us that extra bit that we need to guarantee championship win. And he do well in the Premiership, to be honest, as well. What I've seen him in real life, he's played pretty well. Highly rated. Norwich done really well to sign him. I'll make some decent money off him one day if he does leave. Alright, so we're 2-1 up. Can't afford to let them score again. Saved by Patterson. Action packed first half. Very um not exactly um a dominant win so far. I mean we did score two goals and then Norwich have just come back now and started to make a bit of a game of it. Norwich in the game are a four team, so they're not doing as well as they should be in uh, what they they're probably use your top six team, aren't they? All right, so Garner now. He pick out a beautiful pass. No, he doesn't. I don't know who he was passing that to. Laverne gets it though. Marshall to Lavumbo. Lavumbo. That's a corner. No. Ball kick. He completely miss hit that. Oh, we got a lovely little free kick inside the box. Garner. Pretty good at these these type of free kicks. Will he score? No, he doesn't. Um, Garner's not playing very well in this game. He's not as good as he usually is. Oh, what am I on about? He scored. <laughs> I apologise. He scored. He has been playing well. The last five, ten minutes, he's not been playing well, though. All right, Norris, got a corner. Okay, we head it out somehow. I think that was a foul by then. He kicked to us. Okay. All right, corner to us. Saved by Gun. Um, accidentally clicked on the wrong shout there, so that might backfire on us. Godfrey. The Laird. Turns it across to Godfrey. Garner now looks up, floats the ball over to Adosi. Adosi with a lovely little pass. Got the Marshall saved by Gun. Right, Garner with the free kick. Oh, that player gets fouled. I think that's a penalty. Penalty, yeah. Martial now lines up. We get his second goal of the game before the first half. Finish. Oh, that was a beautiful little cheeky little shit house re penalty there, wasn't it? He mugged, he mugged him right off there. I don't know why our players are so unhappy with 3 1. Um, I praise them. That will hopefully help. Praise them again. Praise them again. There we go. There you go. They're happy now. 10 points clear of Sheffield United. This carries on the way it's going. Right, so we've got a throw in, I think. Okay, little, little pass. The Humbo trickles in off the goal, off the player, I think. Yeah, an own goal by out there, the goalie. We'll class that as the Humbo's goal there. Uh, good little goal by him. Um, there are a few of these players knackered now, so I'm going to wait for this highlight to finish. Okay, so it's 4-2. Let's see what we can do. 
take off a few of our knackered players. A lot of them are quite knackered. We can only do a certain amount. Uh, Lado can come on to him. Campbell can come on to him. Garner. Degree can come on to you. That's it, really. We'll leave that as that for now. Okay, 14. Um, yeah, we're, uh, I mean, Sheffield United got a game ahead of us, so. so that could still go down to eight points again, I think. But as long as we keep winning, that's all we've got to worry about. We don't worry about anybody else, we just worry about ourselves. But um, Norwich, if they score another goal, it's going to be a very stressful last few minutes of the game. Try and demand more, let's try and get one more goal, kill off the game completely. We can take by another player off. Okay. Um, you off, take anyone else off? We can. Uh, take off Godfrey. We'll put we go. But you can only have three substitutes in the championship. Oh well. Right. Norwich passing it around now. That's a lovely little pass that was. Hopefully we won't punish we won't get punished for that. Oh we do. Oh this is going to be a very stressful couple of minutes. We are going to completely balls this up by the looks of it. I'm gonna break the team. No, we got it. That's it. Thank God for that. I was getting really stressed out then. Right, four minute, four three win. We're definitely entertaining for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So we're just gonna quickly um right, so we're gonna negotiate Sarah's contract for that. Um Marshall, praise you for your performance. And we're just gonna skip ahead now. We're just gonna keep going now until the first of January. Inter Milan's also offered a, a deal for Pugno, who I've just gone for, so I can't see him going to us. Yep, that's fine. Just praise their form. Um, not long now. In fact, I'm going to save it now. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to save it now. I'm just going to, I'm going to go for Luigi Di Maggio. It's like a character in the Godfather film. Um, Holgate leaves. So, all right, we're going to save it now. Callum and Garner within the team of the week. So, yeah, so um, that's the end of the episode. Thank you to everyone that watched. Um, I do appreciate it. And I'll leave you to it. And have a nice day. All the best. Thank you. Bye.